This is Kathy Dam, and I'm just going to work through that last question that we were doing in class today just to make sure you got it right. Um, my question had been, let's say that someone told you that they had they were in the eighth percentile um, and you want to figure out what their score was. So we can pretend these are exam scores with a mean of 80 and a standard deviation of 10. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try and draw it because that's what my first step says is draw it. I don't know exactly where 8% would be, but um, I know that this is 2, this is 14, and this is 34%. So it's got to be somewhere right past the 2%, right? So I'm just best guessing it's going to be in here. Now, I don't know what number that is associated with yet, but I know it's going to be 60-something, right? It's going to be under 70, and it's going to be bigger than 60. So now I want to try and work backwards to figure out what that score would be. So I've now drawn it. Now I want to look it up in the table. So when I go to my table, I have to decide if I want to look up a B column or a C column. Looking at this, it looks more C column, right? Because C columns are always in the end. B columns are in the middle. So I'm going to look up, starting in the C column this time, um, 0.08 because 0.08 is the proportion for 8%. So when I'm in the C column, so when I'm in the C column, you'll see I've chosen the C column, and because it's a negative number, um, the Z score is going to be a negative number because it's on the negative side of the distribution. I can look at this picture and realize that this picture aligns pretty well with the picture that I've drawn. So I'm going to look up a proportion of 0.08. As I'm scrolling along, I see that I have two numbers that are close to 0.08. You choose the number that is closest to 0.08. And in this case, it would be the 0 0.0793. So 0 0.0793 is pretty darn close to 0.08. So I'm now going to scroll over and see what z-score that's associated with. So I now have a z-score of 1.41. So I'm going to plug that back into this formula. So I know that it's 1.41 equals, and x is the number that I'm looking for, minus, remember my mean was 80, divided by my standard deviation of 10. Now, I want to take stock. I know that the score is 1.41 for um, an 8% in the C column, but there's one thing I, need, I left out that's really critical. When I'm looking at my distribution, Remember, the z-scores on this side are going to be negative, and the z-scores on this side are going to be positive. So actually, this is a negative 1.41. And if we forgot that, when you do your answers, it'll come out wrong and you'll remember. And I'll show you what that would look like. So this is a negative 1.41. So how do I get rid of the 10 that's in the denominator? I multiply it both sides. So I'm going to get a negative 14.1 equals x minus 80. Now, how do I... Um, I'm just pulling up my <laughs> How do I get rid of that 80 that's on this side? I'm going to add it to both sides. So it's 80 minus 14.1 equals x, and x equals 80 minus 14.1, 65.9. Now let me just see if that maps onto what I thought. Yeah, I said it was 60 something, so that's good. Now let's say I had forgotten to put the negative um, in my z-score. Then I would have had 1.41 equals x minus 80 divided by 10. Then I would have done 14.1 equals x minus 80. Then I would have added 80 to either side. So that would have been 80 plus 14.1 equals x. And then that would have been 94. And so when you took stock, you would have been like, oh, wait a minute. That's up there in the distribution. That isn't right. That's not what she asked for. Oh, that's right. I forgot. This is supposed to be a negative. So what we've done with this example is we went backwards. We drew it appropriately according to the story, the lower 8%. I looked it up in the table. In this case, this looks like the C column. So I looked up an 8% in the C column to find out which Z score was associated with it. And then I put it back in the formula. And so you can solve it this way, or if you like a formula that's already pre-written, if I move these things around for you, what it would be is X equals the mean plus the z-score times the standard deviation. This formula is exactly like the one above it. I just moved things around to make it a little bit easier for you. All right, there you go. Give it a go and let me know if you don't get the right answer.